Hey everyone, it's Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and today I have a neat tool that I want to share with you if you are familiar with Dreaming Tree Designs. They are a company that creates fabulous projects, um, mostly 3D paper projects, but they also have flat designs like cards and things like that, but they are designs that are excellent creations. They really engineer them well, and they also have videos on how you can assemble them, step-by-step -step assembly videos for every design that they do. So it is a great um, source for really unique projects, but I wanna share how they save their files. So it's a little bit different than some of the other places that you see. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna choose a file. It's called Mother Bates Place. It's a house, it's a 3D house. I have seen some awesome projects on the Dreaming Tree Facebook group where people have taken this design and they have created it, but not, not just made it a Halloween house. They've made it into Christmas houses and all year round house types. You really should check out the Dreaming Tree Facebook group and I'll put a link in the description below. But when they save their files, each piece of their file is saved individually. So if I click on this now, keep in mind, this is a very large 3D project. So it has a lot of pieces. So when I click on SVG, you can see that there's a lot of pieces. Not all of their files have this many pieces, but since this is a larger project that's a 3D house, it does have extra pieces um, for this design. I chose this for a very specific reason because I wanna show you how that works. So currently in Leonardo Design Studio, you have to open each of those pieces individually. So I'm gonna come up here to file and import, and I'm gonna locate my Dreaming Tree folder. So I have all my files from Dreaming Tree saved in the same place. I'm going to double click on the Mother Bates Place um, house, double click again, and here's the SVG folder. So when I click on that, now I have all my individual elements. So currently, as I record this video, you can only have one design tab open on Leonardo, which is okay because when I created my last few pieces from Dreaming Tree, I did th through Leonardo and through Caesar Juliet, I cut those. I had all my pieces, I put them on my mat. So I did a 3D um, crate and some poinsettia flowers and um, some cards and some different things. So I have to open these individually and I have to tell it to cut only, next, next, apply, move this off my mat, import the elements, cut only, next, apply, and continue to do this for all of the pieces, especially if I'm going to change the size of the file that I wanna make. So that can get a little bit tedious, and it's like this in all programs. So whether no matter what program, each user has to open it, their files in the same way. Some programs like Silhouette Studio have a little bit easier of a feature, but you still have to take time to open every single piece in one way or another. So in Leonardo, I have to tell it to cut and continue and keep going. And you wanna have all of those pieces on one design file if you're going to resize it at all because you want everything to scale at the same rate. So I have a new tool for you and I think it is well worth it. I will tell you up front, the normal price is $20. When I purchased it, I don't know how long the sale is going for, but it was $14.99 and I think it is totally worth full price just for this factor alone. So I'm gonna share that with you. There are links in the description below, but I want you to check this out. So this is what impressed me. So I'm going to come out to my desktop and here it's called SVG Merge. And it took me a while to bite the bullet and purchase this. But then it was only within three minutes or less that I was completely wowed. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna move it to my right side and I'm also gonna put a link in the description below for Leo's step-by-step -step video on how to do this. So I'm going to also open up the folder on my My Computer folder where all of these elements are stored. 
Now I chose this file for a very specific reason because it did have a lot of pieces, but you can do this with any of the Dreaming Tree files or any designer who saves it in this fashion that it has multiple files for one design. You could still do it for all of those. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold my shift key down, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click on the last one. So all of them are selected. And then I'm gonna drag those over into the SVG merge under input. So all of those files are listed here. Now you have some other options, but for what my purpose is, I can choose auto arrange and then it's going to remove overlaps. So it's not going to stack these on top of each other, which I do not want because that's just messy. You can choose how it does it. Standard, which would stack on top, horizontal, vertical up and down, or fit to, into area. I'm gonna choose vertical. I mean, I'm gonna choose horizontal. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> choose horizontal, and then I'm gonna choose export all. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save this. So I'm going to come back out here to my Dreaming Tree folder. I'm going to come back to my file for the house. And then I'm going to name it. I've just been naming it all in one. And it's magic, export is complete. Come back over here to the Leonardo Design Studio and I'm gonna close this. So rather than open, I didn't even count how many pieces that was. I was too excited. So file, import file. I'm gonna go back out to where I saved that file. Mother Bates, all in one, SVG file, and watch. I can choose cut only, next. Shows me all the colors, apply, and it's all on one design map. Now. It's huge. This is a large file, but it works for files that have th two pieces, three pieces. It just saves so much time versus trying to open, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 different files is what I counted, which I could be wrong, but it's all in one design mat. I can right click, I can ungroup it, and then I can start moving my pieces around. So they're still grouped by the page. I can just start moving them around, arranging them how I wanna cut. So for me, I typically keep everything on the left-hand side of my cutting mat is what needs to be cut. And then I move it to the right when I'm done cutting it, but that's just me. So this was a really neat way that you can easily save some time with this SVG merge program. I think it's well worth it if you are using the Dreaming Tree files or you have another designer that does the same thing. Um, it just saved me time and I was completely amazed by it um, after I took the plunge and purchased it. So I wanted to share that with you all. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. I will get those answered, but there are links in the description as well for more information on this program and the video on how you can use it. Thank you and have a great day.